Hey, it's Aaron from GameBadoos.com, and today I'm taking a look at a game called Cows in My Pants from Payodal Games. So, uh, Cows in My Pants is a, a card game about cows. Uh, plays two to six players, it's, uh, but it takes about 20 minutes, and it plays from ages about seven plus. So, we're going to answer a couple of questions about Cows in My Pants. What is Cows in My Pants? How does Cows in My Pants play? Who is it intended for? And would I continue playing it? So what is Cows in My Pants? So Cows in My Pants is a pretty fast paced card game for two to six players. You have 50 cow cards, five wild cards, and 15 um, action cards. So just for some examples, these would be cow cards. So you have Daisy here, which is green if it kind of shows. The number here is one. And yeah colors green the countess if you like puns this is a great game for you Let's see cow related puns um so countess is an eight there's a little description of all of them it's not really it's basically just the color is a blue and it's an eight and it says countess on it so you see cards have multiple colors so daisy also comes in blue you have Mona lisa oh, comes in red another daisy look at that a lot of daisies you have wild cards in there and you also have action cards so like this one is grand champion swap out your cards from your corral with one card from every other player's corral you peek they don't that's a pretty powerful card that might be too powerful too much power for one cow to have uh let's see got milk this is force opponents of force opponent of choice to randomize their corral so You'll see why that could be potentially devastating. Move over, uh, lose next turn. This is something that you would play not on, not intentionally and be kind of upset. Perhaps the same with this one, depending on what your hand is. Cow pie, blow up your hand, meaning you discard it and then draw back up. So you have cow cards, action cards, wild cards. Uh, for this section, I'm going to actually have an image of this up in the corner so it's a little little easier to see these are all the win conditions so yeah i'll have this up here so it'll be covering this up potentially how cosmo pants works is everyone has a corral i mean they have four cards in front of them that are face down they cannot see you cannot look at them you can but when the game starts and then you have your hand so player one player two one two one two two no one two one so there's three things you can do on your turn. One thing you can do is you can look at one card from your corral. So if I'm player one, this is my hand. Now, based on all the winning conditions, I have two of the same color, which means a flush is four cows of the same color. Now it's only worth two points. Not a whole lot, but it's something. So I'm thinking maybe I'll work my way up to there but I'm not sure. And the two and the 10, we have nothing to do with each other at all. But the only thing I can kind of see that I'm developing in my hand is right here. However, what's in your hand doesn't really matter. What really matters is what's in the corral. The actual win conditions up here are only satisfied by a corral, not what's in your hand. The challenge you have is how to get the cards from your hand into your corral. But you only want to do that once you know what's in your corral. So one thing I can do in my turn is look at one card from my corral. Now, if I look at an action card from my corral, I have to take it. You don't know what's there, so that's why some of those cards are so devastating. So, let's say I did this one. This one says, heard that. Call for a card of your choice. Start with the player on your left. If a player has it in their cow hand, hand, not corral, they must hand it over. Player redraws and fills gaps. Fills gaps means you would put down... So, I would... So, let's say I wanted a yellow six now there's no player on my left but the only other player does not have it so this would get discarded and i would draw back to fill in my corral in the exact same spot that i took the card from order matters in in the corral you have to put the card i got the second one so i have to put fill it back into the second one that's one action another action is play an action card from your hand meaning i could play bulldozer if I wanted to if I was a second player and take its action 
The third thing you can do is you can draw from the barn, meaning the deck. So if I was player one again, I could draw a card here and I see that's a seven. I can bring it into my hand and I have to discard down to four cards from my hand. So as you see, I have a six, a seven and eight. Hey, maybe I can build a run between what's here and here. So I might just get rid of this two. Although, because they're both red, eh, maybe I'll get rid of the 10 instead. Drawing from the barn is twofold. You can draw a card from the barn or you can take a non-action card from the top of the discard. So if the second player was going, they could take this 10 if they wanted it. They could not take the action card. You can take number regular cow cards from there. And that's sort of how a turn goes. So as you as you're playing, the first thing I do when I play is I try to figure out what is in my corral one by one. So I see on one turn that I have a nine. Okay. And that, and because I know this, I have this already, I'm going to keep this here. I'm going to probably put this into my hand on a turn and instead put the six down there. So I'm building six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm building a run as I go. Let's see what the second player has. They might look at this on their turn. They have a three. So they take the three in. They see they have two threes. Because they don't not quite sure what they have. Uh, maybe I'll put the three back on another turn. I'll look at this one. And because you don't know what they are, it could be an action card. So all players shift their entire hand to the player on their right. So yeah, not knowing what's in your corral definitely makes things interesting and somewhat challenging because you don't know what's there. You can draw something and kind of mess yourself over. So when you feel as though the cards that you have, oh wow, this is a great card right here. You may look at all your corral cards rearranging to your liking. Cow tip is a great one. So let's say I slowly and methodically got all the cards. That's a seven. That's an eight. That's a nine. So I slowly and methodically worked on my corral, got it the way I wanted. You at that point say, Kyle's in my pants. And then everybody else has to flip over their cards. And then you score up. Interesting thing is if you say it, if you see the rules here, if you say it falsely, you lose. Also, if you say it and someone has something better than you, you only get, they get all the points of what they get. You only get half for what you earned. So that's why building up to a flush, maybe, maybe got to read, uh, read people to kind of see, like, did I think they have something that's good? Because if they're on their way, but not quite there, yeah, it's only two points, but that's two points you get and they get nothing. So that is sort of how Kyle's in my pants plays. Who is this game for? Payodal Games recommends it for seven plus. I think that's pretty appropriate. I think seven plus is, uh, I'd, I'd agree with them. I think that is who the game is for. It definitely is going for uh, a younger audience, but also I think the game has enough there to be played by people who are more seasoned, seasoned gamers. So now the question is, would I play Kyle's in my pants again? Well, the all honesty, when I first brought it to the table, uh, the kids, my children, who are almost my youngest two, almost 14 and 10, they really liked it. They, they clicked with them. They were like, I get this. Let's go. I thought it was OK. When I brought it back to the table a uh, second time, I believe I was playing with my oldest and a family friend of ours. I enjoyed it a lot more. So the second time I brought it to the table, I had a lot more fun with it. I don't know what changed. I knew the rules the first time. Maybe, I don't know what it was. It clicked a lot more with me where before I figured, well, if the kids ask to play it, I'll play it. Now I see it more like hey, we have 15, 20 minutes to play a quick card game. Even just before we go somewhere, well, we're not going anywhere, but even before we have to do something else, it'll be for that. But no, but the second time I brought it to the table, I enjoyed it a lot more. It clicked with me and I think it's a lot of fun as a quick 15 minute game. I think it works wonderfully. I think that uh, 
I like all the puns. Yeah, they're corny, but they're supposed to be corny. And it works. I like the art. I like how the cards look. I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure this is more of a the prototype presentation, but I know the card quality is just fine. Cards in my pants. I like it. I have no beef with it. I apologize. If you've made this far, thank you for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you should see some things on screen you can click on. And click on them, leave comments, all those good things. Be helpful when you can. Wash those hands. Wear PPE if you have it. And stay safe out there. Take care. God bless.